north of downtown Seoul lies the impressive Chongduk Palace and Secret Garden, 105 acres of architectural magnificence and natural wonder. Anxious to explore the colorful grounds of the Secret Garden are the Michaelek twins, Stephen and Stephanie. Chandak Palace was built as a royal residence by the third king of the Yi dynasty, Taejong, 555 years ago. In 1592, during the Imjin War with Japan, the palace was completely destroyed with the exception of the main gate, Don Moon. This gate is one of the oldest remaining wooden structures in Seoul. Chandak Palace was rebuilt in 1609 by the 15th king of the Yi dynasty, Kwang Tae. It's interesting to note that this dynasty lasted for 518 years, 1392 to 1910, the year that Korea was annexed by Japan. During this period, 27 rulers took the throne. The Imperial Garden is famous for its peaceful pathways, where one may encounter numerous delightful varieties of flowers, trees, birds, and exotic plant life. A perfect haven for royal recreation and rest. Past the Lotus Pavilion and Shimmering Pond. Destination Juhap New, once a pleasant hilltop hideaway used for royal entertainment. The small gate leading to the main pavilion is Asu Moon, or Fish Water Gate. This architectural curiosity has only two single pillars supporting the roof. It is simple, and yet complete in symmetry and balance. Perhaps 200 years ago, on a warm summer's evening, Juhap Nu, now bleak and isolated, played host to gay parties of singing, dancing, and feasting. Another favorite pastime of the royalty was fishing in the Mon Noji. Made in the shape of the Korean peninsula, this picturesque pond gave the kings who fished a feeling of great power. For the king would imagine that within the span of several minutes, he could catch fish in any part of Korea he desired. Typical of the many pavilions found in the secret garden, is John Dock Jung, built in 1644. The court ladies would disguise themselves as barmaids here and sell drinks to the king and his friends. At the northern tip of the secret garden is Ok Nu Chun, the crystal stream, and beside it, the royal well, constantly gushing clear, fresh water from an underground spring. Since the well's a rather long hike from the palace, it's certain that the nobility refresh themselves here, just as our two young visitors are. Nearby, a large rock bears the inscription, Ok Nu Chun, or Crystal Spring, carved by In Jo, 16th king of the Yi dynasty. It's always a delight to walk the pathways of the secret garden, especially in the springtime when the flowers are blooming and the summer colors gradually replace the dreary tones of the past winter. When the city of Seoul was planned, the palaces were given the most honorable location north of the city facing south. Because the south is considered the bright, warm, and therefore happy region of the earth, the king sits so that he may always face in that direction. Jungjun, Grand Hall of the Chongduk Palace. Built in 1404, this magnificent structure was twice destroyed by fire. First in 1609, and again 200 years later. Complete.
complete renovation came in 1908. This beautiful throne room was used for coronations and other similar formal ceremonies. Of course, the throne itself, the post of honor, is at the northern end of the hall and faces south. Everything about this royal room, from the splendidly designed walls to the high, decorated ceiling, is a majestic sight. In Jung Jun, home of 25 kings. Time out for a few minutes gives Stephen and Stephanie a chance to admire the unusual artwork and design of the palace rooftops. The royal living quarters of the Changduk Palace was called Dajul Jun. It consisted of the study and private sleeping chambers of the king, queen, and her maids. In this study, the crown prince worked, and in this same room, the last emperor, Sun Jung, died. Here's the hallway connecting the study and the sleeping areas. The king slept here. And this is the entrance to the queen's private chamber. A last look at the towering palace in the distance. On the ancient bridge, the journey almost complete. A long trip, perhaps, but a most enjoyable one. So, it's a reluctant goodbye to the Changduk Palace and Secret Garden. Goodbye to the days of the Korea of old, when the kings strolled through the garden or fished in the pond, when the court ladies dined and played games in the elegant pavilions, when the royal children paused in their recreation to drink from the royal well. The Korea of old, when the dynasty monarchs walked in the secret garden and dreamed of the Korea to be.